Somebody asked me today, I'm here at Impact, why more manufacturers do not do more and more testing. We have the technology to do testing, we have the ability, and we've had it for decades. And then an episode of the Big Bang Theory struck me. In 1935, Erwin Schrodinger, in an attempt to explain the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum physics, he proposed an experiment where a cat is placed in a box with a sealed vial of poison that will break open at a random time. Now, since no one knows when or if the poison has been released, until the box is opened, the cat can be thought of as both alive and dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't get the point. Well, of course you don't get it. I haven't made it yet. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat. It's is where you have a cat in a box with the poison, and the poison is going to be released at a random time. So at any given time, unless you open the box, you don't know if the cat is dead or alive. Well, manufacturers are looking at their product, especially if it's a legacy product, and it's selling. And we assume it's good, but we don't know. And their theory being, as long as they don't open the box and do continuous testing, the cat is either alive or dead. So the product is both simultaneously good and bad. But as long as they're not forced to open the box and they can pick it up and shake it, and they hear that something's rattling around, they can say, ah, the API, API is in there, so therefore we don't have to actually open the box. So we'll make 15 million tablets, and we'll test 20 and say, ah, we checked. We shook it, and we heard a cat. And quite frankly, I honestly believe this is what they believe. They don't believe it's bad, but they're afraid to find out. It's very much like as a kid, you know that there are no monsters under your bed, but you're not going to put your feet down till morning just in case.